So we've now come to the end of the year. 2019 is gone, so I've got to go back over and do my December haul. This video, it's not going to be edited. I'm just going to put my intro in it and then leave out that because I'm not really bothered editing this. I want to go to bed. So with all that said, let's go. So when it comes to this haul, a lot of it was actually on sale. A lot of it I kind of got in the last week or two or kind of Amazon sales to drag over from Black Friday at the start of the month and then just like end of Christmas sales, a lot of that. So I got a lot more pop finals than I usually would. So I kind of picked up, I only need one more now, Seven Dwarf. I need Grumpy. I picked up Sneezy. This went up to, I think it's looking at about 30 euro on Amazon. So I was getting a bit, I was a bit like, oh crap, I need him. I can't not have him. But then I seen in a comic book store locally, it was only for about 10 euro. I'm like, yeah, of course I'll pick it up. Like, there's a bit of dirt on the screen here. I'll just clean that off. But now I've got Sneezy. So all I need now is Grumpy. I wasn't going to actually pick up Snow White and the Witch. But now that I have all the collection again, I'm like, yeah, I think I might go ahead and just get those two. Just to have them all in as well. I've been playing a lot of Star Wars. The Force Unleashed? Well, I don't know. Jedi Fallen Order? I think it's called that. But I picked up this nice Cal and BD1. I haven't, like, I didn't actually know their names. I have to read the book, the actual name here. The fact is, this, the way he looks here, doesn't look like that for me personally. His lightsaber is actually green for me, and the droid is actually blue. But the game itself, it's very massive. I haven't completed it. I don't think I'm even halfway through it. I'm enjoying it a lot. And when I seen this, I said, yeah, it's pretty cool as well. I did get this. It was a deal. It was buy one. For the price of two, I think it was something like no, it was buy two for the price of one. I think so. I got this one as the free one because I had no else to get. Because the one I actually did pick up was Lando Carizzi. I picked this up literally. I left Rise of Skywalker. I'm like, you know what? Lando's pretty good. And I've been looking at this pop as well as the original one from the original trilogies. My question, like, I decided to go for this one just because I thought this one it just kind of got Lando a bit more, especially if you look at his his kind of mustache there even though there's no mouth it looks like he's giving a cheeky little grin so i said you know what i'll get the lando so i got this one and i got the other one for free so i said for what it is it's cool because i like the way the droid is standing by his side and then what i picked up yesterday just another walking dead one i went in to buy daryl they didn't have daryl there i'm thinking about getting judith because looking at judith she is she's a pretty cool one but i picked up alpha this is one I was actually anticipating buying at all. I didn't think I was going to buy it. But then I seen it and just her face and it is just so creepy. The mask looks so well. I was like, yeah, you know what? I actually am going to buy Alpha. When it comes to dog, I'm not going to buy dog. I have no interest in buying dog. Michonne, as well, I'm not really that sure of Michonne. I think Michonne is a maybe, but Daryl and Jude are 100%. I will be picking up them as soon as I can. And then the last pop I picked up is this one. This was really cool. I got this for €8. Euro. Because in Smith's the woman who was on behind the steels, I think it was her first day. So she kind of panicked and did a few things wrong. So I picked up Anakin Skywalker, which is, is such a cool pop. It's right when he's becoming, like, he's about to fight Obi-Wan Kenobi. So it's pretty cool. You got, it's limited edition as well. You've got his lightsaber and his eyes roaring yellow. I just thought this pop was so cool. Especially after, I think when I picked this up, I just finished watching Revenge of the Sith. So I'm like, you know what? This is pretty cool. And it's going to look pretty cool with the rest of my Star Wars stuff. So it was a must buy. And then... I haven't bought a comic in a while, so The Walking Dead Alien. Now, this did come out years ago. I have read it, but I read it on YouTube where I had to keep constantly pausing it. But it's a story about what happened to Rick's brother in the apocalypse. And it's a lot bigger than I actually thought. I haven't gone back and read it. I don't have any ambition, really, to go back and read it because it didn't really knock my socks off. But now I just, I'm kind of glad to actually have this in the collection with the rest of my Walking Dead comics. And then the main thing I pick up every month, it's a, a sack of Blu-rays. There's not many of them here. But there's a, there's a good few. I picked up today Rocket Man. I wasn't amazed with this movie. I didn't think it was that good. But my girlfriend was very intrigued to watch it. So I got it at a cheap price as well. It came with slip cover. So I said, you know what? I'll pick up Rocket Man as well. I don't. When she wants to watch it, I'll watch it with her. But personally, I don't really have any ambition to go back. I seen the movie. I wasn't that amazed with it. I hope I go back and like it a lot more because I just think. I think he's a great actor and I love to see him in movies as well. Lately, I've actually been listening to a lot of Elton John. So maybe if I do go back, I will enjoy a lot more than I did the first time. And then if you've seen my Zavi exclusive steelbook like video, I actually got this Howard the Duck movie. As I said in that video, if I didn't get it for this in that box, I would never buy Howard the Duck because I've seen it. I'm not a fan of this movie. I don't think it's a good movie at all. But the steelbook itself, I actually think is gorgeous. I love the stars and the sky. I just think it looks absolutely stunning. So I actually, as I said, I have no ambition. So I haven't watched this yet. So I don't know what the transfer looks like in Blu-ray. And I don't know when I will have the ambition to go back. So I don't know when it will look like that. But I have heard it up now. So 
and well actually this is this was in my top 10 biggest surprises of this, of this year Alita Battle Angel I picked this up about a week ago I haven't gone back I only got it really because I enjoyed it and it was really cheap so it's been on my list to buy but I'm waiting for it to go down really cheap so I got it for I think it was 10 so I picked it up I will go back soon enough because I do want to go back into this world I hope we get a sequel I don't imagine we will get a sequel but I would love Alita Battle Angel 2 which I don't think we're ever actually going to get and then this was my biggest surprise of the year Aladdin. I picked up Aladdin on a 4K just literally for the reason of the slip cover. I know, I know, just for a slip cover, I picked up the more expensive edition. But this movie is absolutely beautiful in 4K. The colors are bouncing off the screen, especially when Genie comes in. The colors are just all over the place. It's absolutely beautiful. And this movie, I seen it the first time, didn't like it. Seen it the second time, absolutely loved it. So I was a bit nervous, like going into the third time, like, will, will I like it? And I'm, I'm happy to report the third time, I still love it. I love this movie so much. The music in it is great. Genie and Jasmine are fantastic. Aladdin is not the best, but I wouldn't mind a sequel. I imagine we will get a sequel just because this movie did make a billion dollars. So I really hope we get a sequel. I hope the sequel is as good, if not even better. I just I would love more of these characters. And then another one, which is the anniversary of not the movie, but when the movie takes place, is coming up next month, February 2nd. Groundhog Day, this is a movie, I was kind of on a Ghostbusters kick earlier in the month as well as last month, so I kind of want to see other Bill Murray movies, I picked up Groundhog Day, because I was in the store, seeing it on blu ray I went, oh, pick it up, and I checked eBay, and I found they actually had the steelbook for, not eBay, Amazon, for like half the price of what it was by the Blu-ray, so I decided to get the steelbook, when I seen the pictures, I was a bit like, that doesn't look that nice, but actually having it, it's actually gorgeous, the inside itself is kind of disappointing, and I went back, and I haven't seen the movie in so long, but it is, it's actually it is funny. It's a funny movie. Bill Murray, you can't go wrong with Bill Murray. So having this now in the collection, it's, it's pretty good. And then in March, I think. I think his name is Peter Weller. Peter Peter Weller or Peter Cush, something. I always forget his name. But the guy who plays Robocop is going to be at Dublin City Comic Con. And I'm going to meet him. So I said, haven't seen Robocop in a while. As well as the Steelbook. I picked up the Steelbook. Rewatched it and as well. Haven't seen it in so long. It is a great movie. I forgot how good this movie actually was. So I picked up Steelbook. I'm going to get him to sign it right across the middle. I'm really excited to meet him. Because I never thought I would get the opportunity to meet him. So it's pretty cool. That's the cover. That's the back. And then I'm not going to take the inside out. But yeah, I haven't... I watched the theatrical... No, I watched the director's cut. I've seen the theatrical cut once. And the director's cut once now. I didn't... I couldn't see any difference. I don't know what the difference was. But it's it's a lot faster paced movie than I actually remember being. I remember him being like just naturally human for a lot longer, but it doesn't really it's not really human for long. I haven't seen the sequel. I'd seen the all three of them on Netflix, so I might go back soon and watch uh Robocop 2 and Robocop 3. Because I do want to kind of see the other ones before I meet him. Because I think that might be a bit odd meeting him only seeing one of his movies rather than the sequels to those movies. So sometime between now and March I will watch Robocop 2 and Robocop 3. And then this is Probably one of the biggest movies of the month. Once Upon a Time in Hollywood came out. This was in my top 10 of the year. I've seen this movie about 5, 6 times now. And I just love it. It's such a, it's one of those movies you can just put on the background. And it's just it's ridiculously relaxing. I just The relationship between Brad Pitt and Leonardo DiCaprio is great. Brad Pitt is by far the best part about this movie. Mario Robbie, she's good in it. She's not a massive player in this movie. But she's a really good. And I, I've seen this movie so many times. I love this movie. It's one of my favourite Quentin Tarantino movies. But it's not the best though. And then another one that I picked up for my girlfriend that I kind of seen in the cinema. Had no ambition to go back, but she really wanted to see it. As well, I found out my mom wants to see it and my sister wants to see it. So, extremely, what's it? Extremely wicked, shockingly evil, and vile. This movie, it blew my socks off. I was not expecting Zac Efron to be as good in this movie as he actually was. He played this performance incredibly well. For a guy that everyone loves to play such a creepy man that no one likes was absolutely insane to see him play it so well as well so i am actually look even though i didn't want it i'm looking forward to going back and watching this movie again just because i really really enjoyed this movie i said this is gonna be one day everyone's gonna be like why'd you buy that ghostbusters but not not the good ghostbusters this is ghostbusters 2016 i hadn't seen it since the cinema and i found the steelbook really really cheap so i said okay i pick it up and watch it again it's not good i i kind of gave it benefit of the doubt i watched it I didn't enjoy it. There's way too many dance montages. Like, I, f I knew there was some, but it seems like every 5 10 minutes there's a new dance montage. All the cameos in the original cast, I'm not really a fan of. Bill Murray's is very, it's not good. I think the best is Dan Aykroyd's when he says he's not afraid of any ghosts. That is by far the best in them all. But other than that, it's just, not, it's not really a good movie. Like, the inside artwork is nothing. It's just 
it's just green and then the back cover i like the way it blends into one i've seen they actually have a ghostbusters one and a ghostbusters 2 steelbook in this kind of artwork i've already got a ghostbusters one steelbook so i might get ghostbusters 2 which i think that steelbook kind of artwork, artwork is pretty nice and then another one i got okay three more after this one i got wonder woman on 4k i already owned wonder woman on blu-ray but this is a wonder woman steelbook and i can't go to the cover i seen and i can't like when i came in the pack post i was like did they just send me Wonder Woman on 4K and I was a bit disappointed? But then I found out with a slipcover, or Wonder Woman on 4K steelbook, where the slipcover, I was just blown away. I like how it's a different artwork as well. I don't know if I'm going to keep this just because the rest of my steelbooks are on slipcovers. I don't know if I want to get into that. But that's the cover artwork for the slipcover. And then that's the cover artwork for the steelbook, with, which is absolutely gorgeous. I actually couldn't get over how gorgeous this steelbook actually is. It's not one, like... And I seen it because I got it like really cheap, but it's ridiculously cheap for a brand new steelbook. But just it's such a gorgeous steelbook. I just the cover alone, I just think it's gorgeous. It's like the Wonder Woman. It's not my favorite DCU movie. I think it's probably fourth, but the sequel coming out next year, I'm really excited for. And I just I can't get over how gorgeous that steelbook is. And then we got Jumanji the next level earlier this month and i haven't seen jumanji in so long so i picked up this one free watch it i've done a ranking up and so if you want to buy full thoughts on this movie but it's good it's kind of very bland and dry until robin williams comes in but it's good and i think welcome to the jungle is by far the best jumanji movie but this movie it's a fun movie i have no really ambition to go back anytime soon but i enjoy watching it again and then this is this is a comedy i when i put it on the first time i didn't expect much of it but i actually really enjoy it Forgetting Sarah Marshall, I don't know his name, but the guy who plays Marshall in How Much Mother, he's so good in this. You got Mila Kunis and you got Christian Christian Bell, and I absolutely adore her. I think she's great. So have her in this movie, I thought it was great. This whole movie, it's so funny. You feel so bad for him, but at the same time, you feel his whole situation is absolutely hilarious. He tries to get away from his girlfriend after breaking up with her, and he goes to a resort in Hawaii, and she's at the same resort. It's something that it's not realistic i don't think anything like that anything like that would ever happen but the way it happens in this movie is just absolutely hilarious i just couldn't get over it. i've seen it once no i've seen it twice and then i've seen it cheap and i'm like yeah i'm gonna pick that up because i wanted to have this in my collection and then the last thing i picked up might be controversial i haven't gone back and watched it yet it's been sitting on my shelf i've wanted to go i want to put it in but i just kind of feel like i have to build myself up to watch this game of thrones season six i picked it up i have all the other seasons i had to have the final one but i just it was hard to buy this one i didn't think i was going to but i decided to anyways but i like actually i do there's parts of other parts of this i don't like like i like how the cover is a throne you can see dragon eyes here because daenerys should have sat on the throne but spoilers but then there's the inside cover i like that but then very weirdly that's the back of it it's just a bit of the edge i thought it was going to open up and have like the throne but no that's just another cover which seems very lazy and then you get all those concept art pictures they put out before season eight they got all the people who could have sat in the throne. And then it's just, they're spread out between three discs. I haven't gone back. I don't know if it's going to be good in Blu-ray. Or, yeah, Blu-ray. I don't know if they did a 4K for this, but I'm going to go back soon. I think I just kind of have to build myself up for this because I do want to see if I like it a bit more. Like, what's it called? The Long Night? The Battle, for Win the Battle of Winterfell? Whatever the episode's called. I want to watch that again because I couldn't see that when I was watching it the first time because it was so dark. So I want to go back and see if I can see it a lot better. It's just in Blu-ray because I was watching it on my phone underneath the Dubai cover because it was so dark in my room. I had to have it so dark in my room to actually be able to see the episode because it was really blurry. And I'm actually just noticing this. They didn't really put much effort in this because that picture is blurry. Like, do you think? Look at that. It's blurry. Why would they have that blurry? You think that you would have made that clear as day? Just because like, everyone was disappointed with the final season. You think they make the box set a bit more interesting than it actually was. But that's my haul for December. I'm looking forward to seeing what I pick up in January. I haven't picked up anything yet. It's January 2nd and I haven't picked up anything yet. So we're going strong so far. But let me know what you picked up in the month of December. Not including Christmas. This is not including Christmas. This is stuff I actually bought myself. If I've got Christmas haul, if you want to see that, I'll leave a link to it somewhere over here. So if you want to see all that kind of stuff, click that subscribe button. Like, like if you like all this video, like it. Click subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching.